My son came home from uni yesterday and showed me something that they're using there, which I think might have application for all of us. It's called mClicker. It's free to join. You can see here that I've signed in, so I've joined with a free account. Think of it as a bit like those clicker things that you can use in PowerPoint. But this is free and uh, you are not limited by the number of clickers you've got. So the way it works is I've got this new interaction panel here. I click that and it comes up with a new interaction. I can rename that and I'll call this showing consultants. So I've now got a new interaction and you can see here, there it is there. Here's my quick start guide. I can't close the quick start guide. Now the way it works is um, when I click in this panel, this took me a little while to figure out. See how I've clicked here? That's the new question um, button there. I was, uh, I was a bit stumped by how I can make a new um, uh, a new question. I can create in this interaction called showing consultants, I can create a new session. So I'll do that. But you can still see here this is greyed out. The way it works is you click over here on questions and you end up with a question bank. So all I do is I can now add a new question if I wanted to. When I add a new question, I type in my question name here, and I'm just going to delete this in a second. I want it to be either one of these things here. I'll say multiple choice. You have to have some instruction text, and you have to have, uh, obviously, for multiple choice, you have to have some choices there. OK, I can add um, choices there. And then I save it. Now, at the moment, this says new question. Over here, it says new question. When I save it, it's now called X because of all these Xs here, and it's called X over there. All right. I don't want that question, so I'm going to select it and delete it. Yes, I want to delete it. So I'm going to run a new session here for showing consultants. I think I'll ask you what your name is. So you can see there, all I'm doing is dragging from here and dropping it into this panel. I'll ask you whether you're male or female. Now, this is a bit tricky. You don't drop it here. You have to drop it there. So name, male or female, and um, where were you born? So I'll drop that there. And now I'll save this. And I'm going to start this session. Now, what that means is I'm going to give you the opportunity to answer these questions. So the reason you save this as a session is because I can make this the day before and I could have three or four sessions that I want to use in a presentation stacked up down here. You know, there's the nationality one. That one comes with the, um, uh, with the program when you, in, uh, when you go to this uh, web address up here. But I'm going to start this session. Now this works on any browser or anything like that. So you can see here what it's saying is tell people to go to this web address. Now you don't need anything more than telling them respond.cc. You don't need to tell them this rubbish here. And I've got my iPad beside me so when I go to respond.cc what uh, I've got in front of me is enter session key and at the moment I haven't entered that so I'll enter 75841 is that right? 75841 and I'll continue and I can see those three questions in front of me now what's your name? John I'm male and my country of birth was Australia. And there's a tick at the bottom indicating that I'm finished and I'll submit that response. My responses have been submitted and there they are. 
100% of the people here have answered that their name's John. I can view this in various options. Here's how they answered the question about what sex they are. And here's what country they were born in. So this is free. Um, that session stays there forever until I delete it. There's the, the, the link and there's a QR code there if I even wanted to um, give people that link to answer the questions with. See uh, me or Mel if you've got a question or Pauline. Cheers.